so I don't know if I'm gonna use this take or not, but I just wanted to film something a little bit spookier, because honestly I love this show and I think it fits really well with the vibe. So, anyways. <laughs> Last night, I was able to check out The Edge of Sleep. This is the television adaptation of the widely popular podcast of the same name from Q Code, and it is produced by Regency and stars Mark Fishbach, aka Markiplier. This show follows Dave, a security guard who gets off of his shift with his friend Mateo, only to find that the entire world has died in its sleep. And they quickly realize that the cause of death is sleep it follows Dave, Mateo, Dave's girlfriend Katie, and an ER nurse named Linda as they try to figure out what, how, and why this is happening. Now, I went into this show very excited. I remember back when it was filmed back in 2021. Also, the camera is held by one Leo Tipton. Uh, if you don't know, we're up in Canada filming The Edge of Sleep. Markiplier took a, a couple weeks off of his content to film it in Canada, but then ever since it was filmed, nothing has really come out about it until last night when Mark just announced that it had been stealth dropped on Prime Video. And so I binge watched it between the hours of 2 and 4 a.m. And honestly, I had a great time. It is only six episodes, which each episode clocking in at about 22, 23 minutes apiece. So it's a very tight two hour watch. And I feel like that is one of the things that works best about it. It is very digestible, it is very watchable, it is very fast paced, but it's also endlessly interesting. Now the best part of this show is absolutely its world. It is so endlessly fascinating, and the things that it's able to do in just such a short run time are truly astounding. Another great thing that I loved about the show is the central mystery. The way that it is slowly revealed how everybody is dying, and the things that they need to do, it's all very interesting. It's captivating. Each episode ends on a really good cliffhanger that keeps you engaged to the next episode, and this show continually engaged me with every passing second. Another thing that I absolutely loved about this show had to be the acting. I have to admit, I was a little bit hesitant to take Markiplier serious as an actor. I mean, I'd seen him do great stuff in In Space and Heist with Markiplier, but those were comedic roles. So I was kind of hesitant to uh, take him seriously as a dramatic actor, but he honestly kills it here. I mean, there's a couple moments where he seems like he's overacting a little bit, and you can kind of see that YouTuber personality, but there's other much smaller moments where he's able to really sell this deeply flawed and troubled character. See, Dave, the character, his whole life he has had trouble with sleeping. He has a strange connection to the root of the cause of this epidemic, and it's very interesting to see how that unfolds and how all of his traumatic experiences that he has had in his life shape who he is and how it actually saves him and helps him be able to try and save the world. This is also a very dark show with a lot of really dark moments. There's an entire extended sequence that has you battling the morality of sacrifices for the greater good. There's also this impending sense of doom that never really leaves the show since everybody is working against the clock since they can't sleep, and obviously the human body can't just stay awake indefinitely. So it's very interesting to see the different things that they do to themselves to stay awake, but also the things that they're able to accomplish while so sleep deprived. It never feels fantastical, it always feels like the threat is coming ever closer. Because the longer that they don't know what's happening, the higher of a chance of them falling asleep and the higher of a chance of them dying is. There's a lot that I loved about this show. I think that the acting is spectacular. The directing from Jake Emanuel in this show is also spectacular. There's a lot of really interesting things that he's able to do with the camera. Now, this show unfortunately does suffer from some pacing issues. I think that it is, it's not boring. The show is very entertaining, it's very fast paced, but it does feel a little bit rushed at points. It does kind of rush through certain plot points in order to get to the next episode, to get to the next big moment so the audience doesn't get bored. For example, in the first couple episodes, it just kind of throws a lot of stuff at you and expects you to kind of stick with it. And while it's never confusing, it does just feel like, okay, that, that needed a little bit more time in the oven. Also, I do have to take some issue with a couple of the writing decisions. For example, uh, Mateo, he is very much the straight man in this situation where he is taking everything seriously and reacting to everybody to everything as a normal person would react, but it does kind of get annoying after a little bit when 
he's like, whoa, 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 this is insane for the 30th time. Like, yes, you're in a sleeping apocalypse. Of course it's going to be insane. Like, no, 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 I'm not going to do that because I'm going to die. Brother, you're going to die anyway. But I digress. There's moments like that, and there's some rushed moments that I feel that do hold the show back a little bit. But that really doesn't detract from the main attraction of the show, and that is how fascinating it is. I was glued to the screen, especially during episode 5, where it really delves deep into the lore, into the why of everything is happening, and especially in episode 6, too, there's this amazing sequence in the field. Another one of my favorite things about the show is that it ends on such a good cliffhanger. This has to be one of my favorite setups for a season 2 I've ever seen, and it just makes me so excited to see what happens next. While I do feel like the show does have some issues, it is, this was not a disappointment and it thoroughly lived up to my expectations. I love this show. I think that it is very compelling. It's very interesting. It is surprisingly gory and like this is a pretty dark show. Like it's, I understand that a lot of kids are going to want to watch this because well, you know, Markiplier is a YouTuber and they want to see their favorite YouTuber doing something different and yeah, something with television, but um, it's very much an adult show. It has a lot of really grown-up themes, it has a lot of gore, a lot of swearing, and I really enjoyed that about it. Uh, while I don't think it's quite perfect, it is a little bit bogged down by needing to have a straight man for the audience to like attach to, which, with some stupid moments there. Overall, I love this show. I'm feeling a very strong 4 out of 5. I cannot wait to see where it goes next, and I think that this is just such an incredible foundation to what I'm sure is going to be an amazing, amazing rest of the show.